right, our third speaker is a special treat. Uh, hopefully you'll um, be as uh, funny and very informative as the uh, committee thought when we first brought this uh, to their attention. Our next speaker is Alexander Seaman. She's a grade 7 student with the Calgary Jewish Academy. My association with Alexander started when her father, through a colleague of mine at IRAP, uh, phoned me up and asked if we could potentially assist her in her science fair project. And that led to connecting her with some various uh, industry people to get her some samples of bitumen and some lab space, and off she went. She's um, an honorable student who enjoys social studies and became interested in science when the opportunity to participate in the Calgary Youth Science Fair first presented itself in grade 5. In 2009, Alexander was awarded a gold medal at her school as well as the Calgary Youth Science Fair where she also won the Apega Engineering Award for her project entitled Ultrasonic Oil Separation. This year, at the Calgary Youth Science Fair, she returned with the second part of her project and she won Best Visual Award and the Chemical Institute of Canada Calgary Award and the Gold Medal Award. Alexandra has many interests including reading, fashion design and art and she's looking forward to pursuing a meaningful, meaningful career in a yet to be determined discipline. Please join me in welcoming Alexandra. projects that I've done for the Calgary Youth Science Fair. The first presentation is called Ultrasonic Oil Production. So when I first started Science Fair, I wanted to test a new process to produce oil using mined oil sands. So the process I tested is, was called the ultrasonic um, separation and it uses sound waves and vibration to separate the molecular bonds in oil sands. To do my project, I tested three different procedures. Conventional process with unheated water, the current process, the hydro transport process, and my process, the ultrasonic separation process. So my testable question was, will an ultrasonic current apply to a slurry of unheated water mined oil sands produce the same amount or more oil than the hydro transport method of separating oil from mined oil sands using less energy? So I had three different procedures, one for each process, and then of course the pre-experimental preparation which was get oil sands, and I received my oil sands from Petro Canada. Then the water I used was salt water, and I used salt water to replicate the water used in Fort McMurray. So my first test was the conventional process with unheated water. Besides doing all the pre-experimental preparation like, you know, um, putting oil sands in water in the three beakers for the test. I agitated the three beakers and then took observations. So my second test was the hydro transport process using hot water. It's the same as test one except while boiling the water I measured the amount of energy that was used so I could compare that with the amount of energy that's used to use ultrasonic energy. And then test three is the ultrasonic separation process and same as the other two tests by using unheated water and then measure the amount of energy used when you use the ultrasonic energy. Um, 